sometimes we are so oblivious to all these signs that I mentioned previously that God is forced to close this door upon us, you know, because we're not listening. We're not seeing the truth for what it is. We're not accepting these signs. So stuff like this happens where the person leaves. You have to be okay with that. You have to understand that, hey, this was not a divine relationship. This was not meant to be. Yo, 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 YouTube, what's popping? It's your boy, Sabby. Welcome guys to my channel, Self Mastery. I just want to wish you all a beautiful and blessed day. You know, thank you all so much for tuning in to another episode. Yes, you have already read the title, Six Signs That God Does Not Want You To Be With Someone. Guys, if you are in a relationship right now, if you are in that talking phase, maybe you're about to get married and you're unclear. You're not 100% certain that this person, you know, whether they are meant for you or not, watch this video until the very end because I'm going to be talking about signs that you need to pay attention to, you know? And so I highly encourage you all to subscribe to my channel for a lot more empowering content, you know, content that will change your life, guys. And also smash that like button so we can get this video out there. For anybody that could use this information, guys, there's a lot of people out there that need these words of wisdom. Without further ado, let's get started. So listen up, before I get into the first sign, I wanna say, look, if a relationship is ordained by God, God Almighty, it's meant to be, it's gonna happen, right? There's no hammering things into place, there's no orchestrating anything, there's no, you know, questioning, there's no confusion, it just happens. It's easy, ease and flow, guys, it's effortless. And so if your relationship is not like that, that's a clear sign right there that it is not ordained by God. And look, guys, that was not one of the signs in this episode. But just be aware of that fact, guys, that, you know, if you're going through a lot of confusion, a lot of, you know, stress. No, 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 guys. So let's get into sign number one that God does not want you to be with someone is the simple fact that they hurt you or they treat you poorly or this person is emotionally abusive. They could insult you, they can call you names, they can make fun of you, they curse at you, they disrespect you. Maybe you set boundaries, maybe you say no to certain things, but they don't listen, right? But they push your boundaries, they, they ignore your boundaries, right? Guys, that is a form of abuse, of course it is. You know, if this person is mistreating you, if they're physically hitting you, being violent, slapping you, spitting at you, guys, no, 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 no. That is a clear sign that God does not want you to be with someone, of course, you know? And look, if you're dating a narcissist or a sociopath, that's also a clear sign that you should not be with this person. And sometimes you don't even have to be dating that 100% narcissist or that 100% sociopath. It could be that 20% narcissist, right? They could have just a small few tendencies you know, a few characteristics of being narcissistic, you know, and you have to be aware of these things, guys, that if people are hurting you bad, you know, if, if they're mentally abusing you, taking advantage of you, manipulating you, walking all over you, pushing you, you know, aside and, and doing what they want to do, being controlling, being possessive, they don't want you hanging out with this person. They don't want you talking to this friend. They don't want you wearing this out in public. You know, they, you, there's no boys nights. There's no girls nights because, you know, they're, they're super possessive. They're deleting contacts from your phone. You know, they're, they're stalking you. Guys, that is not a healthy relationship. That, that is a clear sign from God that this person is not the right person to be with. So you need to pay attention to that sign and walk away. No matter how much it hurts, walk away. Let's get into sign number two that God does not want you to be with someone is every time you get together with this person, it's filled with stress and anxiety, right? Maybe even before you go to this person's house or maybe even before you go meet up or hang out, right? You're feeling this feeling of stress. You're feeling this feeling of like, ah, I don't want to, man. You know, it's not resonating with you. Trust your feelings, guys. Trust your feelings. You know, every time you get together, you guys are bickering, you guys are fighting, there's drama, right? There's toxicity, you know, there's someone is always criticizing, people are yelling, throwing things. Guys, that's that's not a healthy relationship, right? A healthy relationship is peace. It's 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 ease, it's flow, it's it's serenity, it's calm. 
You know, you feel good. You feel elation. You feel joy. You know, you just love, you know, it's all those good feelings being with that person. Guys, if you are not feeling those good feelings when you come together with this person, then this relationship is not ordained by God Almighty. I'm telling you that right now. You know, if you guys are involved in toxic drama, no, 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 no. You see, there should not be any tension. There should not be any tenseness every time you, you know, get together with this person. If you're dreading meeting up with someone, if you're dreading, you know, going to their house or date night and, you know, things just don't resonate anymore, that's another clear sign that this relationship or, you know, God does not want you to be with someone. Of course, guys, of course, pay attention to this as well. Let's get into sign number three that God does not want you to be with someone. You don't trust this person, right? And the thing is, it doesn't always have to be that, you know, he or she cheated on you. It, it doesn't even have to go that far yet. But it could be the simple fact that they lie about small things. They could lie about their career, their job. They could lie about their past. They could lie about past relationships or past experiences. They can lie about their family. They can lie about their background, their schooling, their education. Guys, if people are lying about small things and you don't trust them, of course, that's a clear sign because trust is the foundation of every relationship. Not even relationships, but friendships, guys. And we have to pay attention to these things. If they're putting their phone face down, you know, and every time maybe you try to grab their phone and look at the time or whatever, it could be something, you know, super simple. Maybe you just wanna Google something on their phone. And they start freaking out, they start getting, you know, anxious, they're, you know, they're snatching that phone out of your hand. Guys, that's a red flag right there. What are they hiding, right? If they're hiding things from you, if they're not telling you where they were on a particular day, you know, if, if they're not telling you where they're going, if they're not, you know, being open, honest, it, you know, guys, honesty is another big thing, you know, that when it comes to trust, if this is not an honest person, you gotta be careful, guys, because if I can't trust someone, I don't wanna have to do anything with that person. You know, I'm good, man. I, I only want people I can trust in my life. You know, not a snake in the grass, you know? that can come bite you later on, right? So guys, if you can't trust somebody, that's a clear, clear sign from God that you should not be with this person. Let's get into sign number four that you should not be with someone is that this person is taking you further away from God right? Maybe you were close to God before you met this person. Maybe you were, you know, close to, you know, the most high and, and you were a devout, you know, student. You were a devout, you know, student of the church, the mosque, whatever your religion is, guys. You know, there's many different people that watch these videos. But if you were, you know, close to God, but you realize ever since you met this person, ever since you started hanging out with this person or being in a relationship with this person, that now you're further away from the Almighty, that is a clear sign this person is not meant for you. This person, you know, God does not want you to be with this person. You know, if you guys can't discuss spirituality, spiritual discussions, you know, there's no reading the Bible or the Quran or the scripture together. You know, if, if you guys can't even discuss godly topics together, you know, they don't, want, they don't even want to talk about God. They, if they say they don't believe in God and you do, Guys, that's another clear sign that you know you are not meant to be with this person. This is not a divine relationship. This is not a sacred union. It's not. You know, if this person is involved in drugs, if they're involved, you know, in addictions, whether it's alcohol, pornography, lust, whatever, and they're and they're getting you to, you know, do things that you don't want to do, they're getting you involved in these addictions as well and taking you further away from your purpose, your mission. They're taking you further away from God. Of course, guys, you need to walk away. A holy union is blessed with God at the forefront of that union, right? God leading the way. You see, it's a trifecta. It's you, this person, and then God, right? Th that single point, that North Star. You're following in those footsteps. If you're a man or if you're dating a man, and this is not a man of God, right? This is not a man that submits to, you know, an authority above him then this is not, you know, a sacred union, guys. All right, guys, let's talk about sign number five that God does not want you to be with someone is that you have a gut feeling. As I mentioned previously, briefly, guys, you got to trust your instincts. You got to trust your feelings. You see, your emotions, your feelings, they are your guidance system. They let you know exactly, you know, if you're headed in the right direction or if you're headed in the wrong direction. And so God will contact you he will communicate to you or through you you know by your emotions 
your emotions let you know everything, guys. So if you have a gut feeling when something doesn't sit right with you, you know, when, when something is troubling you, when you have that, you know, feeling in your stomach, because your stomach is your second brain, right? If you have that feeling that, hey, man, this is, you know, something's going wrong. This is not the right, you know, place for me to be in then trust that feeling guys because that feeling is letting you know that this union or this relationship or this person is not meant for you of course guys trust and believe that if you're having dreams if you're having visions if you're having nightmares right maybe your dreams may be this person cheated on you or this person is, is breaking up with you or you know in the dream you know you see yourself separated from this person trust that dream Right, because your dreams come straight from your subconscious and your subconscious is in direct contact with the universal mind, aka God, aka infinite intelligence. You know, so trust those gut feelings, guys, because if something is not feeling right, you have to follow that. You have to listen to that because if you don't, you're gonna regret it. You know, greater hurt, greater harm will come to you. Let's get into sign number six that God does not want you to be with someone is the simple fact that God closes his door on you, right? That person rejects you. That person breaks up with you. That person leaves you. That person cheats on you. Guys, that's a clear sign that it just wasn't meant to be, you know? And my suggestion is that you never go back, you know, chase after that person, never run after that person, beg them to be in a relationship. No, 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 no. Guys, we don't do that around here. That's clear, guys. That's as clear as it can possibly be. Because look, sometimes we are so oblivious to all these signs that I mentioned previously that God is forced to close this door upon us, you know, because we're not listening. We're not seeing the truth for what it is. We're not accepting these signs. So when, you know, stuff like this happens where the person leaves, you have to be okay with that. You have to understand that, hey, this was not a divine relationship. This was not meant to be, you know, this was not the right person for me. That's why, you know, this person exited my experience. That's why God shut this door for me, right? That's why everything ended. You have to trust that, guys, you know? And so, of course, I highly recommend that, yes, you pay attention to all the previous signs I mentioned, but also, guys, be aware that an ending is also a beginning of something new, something better to come forth in your experience. So always trust and believe God has the best intentions for you. You know, God wants you to win. God wants you to be happy. God wants you to be in a successful and divine sacred union, a, a, a divine sacred blessed relationship. You know, God doesn't want you out here suffering. And you know, a relationship ending, a door closing is not you suffering. Don't ever think about it like that. Think about it as like, hey, God saved me. You know, God, God saved me from future hurt or even more harm or even more destruction. You know, so trust when God closes a door on you guys. So these are the six signs that you need to pay attention to that God does not want you to be with someone, guys. Let's go over them one more time. One more time, guys. Number one, this person that you are with hurts you or treats you poorly. Sign number two, every time you get together, it's filled with stress and anxiety right? It just doesn't resonate, guys, anymore to hang out with this person. Sign number three is that you don't trust this person. Trust is the basis and foundation of every relationship. And if there is no trust, that's a clear sign you should not be with that person. Sign number four, this person is taking you further away from the most high. This person is taking you away from God, further and further away, guys. Sign number five is that you have a gut feeling trust your instincts and sign number six if you're not listening to all the signs above eventually god will close the door on you and you have to at that time wake up and realize that it happened for a reason thank you all so much for tuning in to today's episode guys if you found value smash that like button and share this episode with anyone that you feel i could use this information i want to say guys subscribe to my channel because i have a lot more content coming your way also check out this video right here check this video out because it will help you as well thank you all so much and i will see you in the next episode take care much love peace guys